All right, today we are checking out the rabbit tape. I think it's rabbit tape. Yeah, we're checking out rabbit tape from Safari Pedals. Another Safari Pedals plugin. Gnome just keeps on cranking them out. I'm proud of Gnome. He's really, he's going for it. This is a tape emulation. So we'll see if it goes toe to toe with my favorite tape emulation plugin, which is, uh, I think it's called cassette. So rabbit tape, it is a reel to reel thing, but then it says it has a cassette option on there too. So I played around with this a little bit the other night, but we're just going to get right into it. I have my Chaosolator Pro here. Don't judge the Chaosolator Pro. It's a good synth. Okay, has really good Juno sounds in it. I found that if I drive the rabbit tape with a really nice, saucy bass pad, you can really get to hear what this thing does. We're gonna bypass it for now. I don't wanna put on my headphones. I hate putting on my headphones. Here we go. This is your totally dry bass synth coming out of the Chaos Later Pro. This thing is ridiculous. Now let's enable the rabbit tape and see what this thing is doing. Drive the input a little bit. Let's just hold it there. Not hearing a ton of stuff that's happening. Maybe a little bit of saturation, but let's crank up this grit. Getting a little bit of dirt on there, a little bit. Let's auto gain it. Here's where I found that this thing does some really cool stuff. Crank up the wow and flutter. That's the stuff right there. That is the stuff. I'll tell you. Listen. That is boring. Cool patch, but this is cooler. Yes, yes. So it's kind of doing my favorite things of what Waves Factory's cassette does, but in a much simpler interface. Wow and Flutter is what I want. I will say this, listen, if you're gonna do a thing like this, I want filters, high pass and low pass knob on this, because if I have a high pass and a low pass knob, then I can actually do the lo-fi thing. I can do the Bibio thing, because this, if I'm doing bass patches, I, that's probably too much bass. Put an EQ on here before it even goes in. Now watch. You're probably thinking, in what in God's name is he doing? Listen, I want to be able to have a high pass filter and a low pass filter on this thing. And you, you know what? At the little dots, you know? Cause th these little dots, you can just take it off right away, right? Do the same thing with a high pass and a low pass filter. That's all I ask of you, okay? Because then this thing is complete to me. All right. Let's listen to the difference between reel to reel and cassette. See, this patch has a high pass filter built into it. Love that. That is cool. It does some cool stuff. I like it. Kind of confused about the grit. I can't. I don't know what the 
Grit is doing. Maybe if we get some transient stuff? So a big part of the reason why I couldn't hear the grit is because I had my filter on. <laughs> oh, I'm a dummy. All right, there's dry. There's a rabbit tape. Yes, you can definitely hear the grit. All right, now I wanna hear it on the bass pads again. Don't make fun of the chaos later, okay? It's got cool sounds. Okay, yeah, the grit is definitely just destroying it. Definitely vintage, cool vibes. I've got the loud flutter all the way up. Alright, funny thing, in the manual it says... Some of the combinations with the WoW knob will lead to some phasing issues due to time changes in real time with the WoW knob. Turning off the WoW feature will fix this. Okay, I'm gonna go crazy here, and I'm gonna just... The WoW's all the way up. I get it. You're having phasing issues. It sounds cool, it sounds like a chorus effect, but if you were gonna press something to vinyl with this thing and using the blend knob with the wow thing, you might take out a whole city block, I'm telling you. Width, now this is something, all the Safari pedals plugins that I have that have a width feature, they do width better than any other one knob width thing I've ever found. <laughs> The width feature will enable you to width, <laughs> nice. <laughs> It'll enable you to widthin, <laughs> widthin. That's, I like that. That's a great verb, widthin, widthin, widen, I think is the, the word that he's looking for. The affected sound without changing the mono signal. Input and output knobs, oversampling. I don't, I never use oversampling. I'm not a pro. There's no reason to use it for me. Another cool one, another <laughs> another cool one from Safari Pedals. Look, this alone. On my little toy Chaos Later Pro. Gives it a whole new character. Like I said earlier, my favorite tape plugin is Cassette from Waves Factory. Let's look up how much Cassette is going for. 60 bucks. Hey, it's Sam from the future. I just felt the need to jump on here because I recorded this video originally uh, a couple days ago before Rabbit Tape came out and I didn't know what the launch price was gonna be and it looks like it's going for $49, which I think is still a really smoking deal for a really great sounding plugin. And it looks like that the whole bundle now is going for 120 bucks, which I don't know. The, to me, that seems like kind of a no brainer. It's, there's so many great plugins in that bundle. The bundle went up by 10 bucks with the addition of Rabbit Tape, but uh, I totally think it's they're worth every penny. Obviously, <laughs> affiliate link in the description, so go buy them with the affiliate link and make me stinking rich. The other reason why I wanted to jump on here too is because at the end of my original video, uh, I did a whole thing on guitar because I was kept on talking about the Bibio sound. And the Bibio sound is like one of my favorite sounds that is, uh, I think Bibio actually records to old reel to reel tape, like an actual tape machine. This thing does an emulation of a reel to reel that sounds very similar to what you hear on a Bibio record, and I am going to very poorly try to recreate a Bibio sound with uh, my Telecaster here. It's not gonna be like Bibio, it's gonna be like Crappio, but you'll be able to get the idea at least of what I dig about what Rabbit Tape does to the sound of a guitar to make it sound 
with that lo-fi Bibio feel. So I'm going to do that right now. In the original video, I went to go re record guitar and um, I did not uh, have my output routed to the right thing. So I never captured the guitar. One of many screw ups that were in this video. I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you enjoyed seeing me be a bad audio engineer. I'm getting better. I'm trying. Oh, I should say that I've got the Strymon Night Sky reverb uh, on this. Take 90 billion. <laughs> You get the idea uh it's got that vibe that old vintage vibey thing destroyed tape thing and it does it really really well and it does it for does it for 49 bucks 50 bucks but you could just spend 120 and just get everything that's awesome anyway uh yeah back to the original video i don't know if i have much else to say in there i probably don't so that might just be the end Thanks for watching. Fill your link in the description. All right, bye.